Hey what is up guys my name is Shum Kejriwal and welcome to episode number 2 of Tech News Weekly so this is a series in which I talk about the top tech news which takes place in a week and this is the second episode which i'm doing in this week i have much much more interesting news covering the Moto X3 Lear TV Lear 2 and much more. So yes, without any further ado, let's get started and talk about this week's tech news. So starting with not quite interesting news, we have that Carbon has announced two new smartphones in its event and these are the L52 smartphone, it, it is the Quattro series smartphone and the other one is the Mac 6 smartphone which is a titanium series smartphone. So these smartphones are aggressively priced at a price tag of 8,790 rupees for the Quattro L52 and 7490 rupees for the Mac 6. So yes, these are aggressively priced and if you take a look at the specifications, again, they are in very bad too. So the main attraction of these devices is that they come with a VR headset bundle up with their actual devices and they are compatible with them of course. So yes, these are uh, VR and virtual reality compatible and they also have a VR application pre-installed in their UI. Talking about some specifications about the devices, Firstly about the Quattro L52, it has 2GB of RAM, 16GB of in inbuilt storage, 32GB expandable options and also it, it has a 1.3GHz dual core processor along with 2GB of RAM as I already told. It also has a 8MP rear camera and a 2250mAh battery. Now talking about the Mac 6, it isn't a bad device either. At 7490 rupees, you get a 2GB RAM variant which is with 1.3 GHz quad core processors and along with 3300 mAh battery. It also has 16 GB of inbuilt storage along with 32 GB expandable options. I don't know why but Carbon has placed the lower uh, priced smartphone at a higher specification and the higher priced smartphone as a lower specification. I don't know what they did out there but yes, this is the case. The next news is that uh, another company, Ficom has launched its Club 630 smartphone which is priced very very aggressively at 4000 rupees or 3999 to be very precise and has quite a good specification list. So the main attraction of the device is that it comes with 4G in it and moreover it has both uh, supports for both the bands. So it supports the 1.8 GHz band and along with that it also supports the 2.3 GHz band. Along with that it also has 1 GB of RAM, Snapdragon 210 processor and Adreno 304 GPU. I know these uh, processors and GPUs are very very old but uh, yes but what can you expect for 4000 rupees. Moreover the device has 8 GB of internal storage which is expandable up to 64 GBs and along with that it also has a 5 megapixel camera at the rear and a 2300 mAh battery. The next news is that LG has planned an event on 14th of April in which it would be unveiling its KCG smartphones here in India. So before the CES event which took place in 2016 way back about a month back. LG announced two new K-series smartphones internationally and that was the K7 smartphone along with the K10 smartphone and I think that those two devices are the one which are now coming in India. Just taking an overlook at the specifications of the devices, both of them are supported by 4G and also they have 2.5D glass which is curved glass and I don't know why they require that because I don't think that the devices would be curved but that they, uh, they are actually present and that is much appreciated. Along with that the company would also be including some new gestures in the UI of the smartphone and the display itself and that should definitely improve the user interface. So coming to a very interesting news we have the Moto X3 leak. So as you can probably see in the image this is the image which is expectedly of the Moto X3 and according to what you can see this is the front panel of the device. What you can see over here is that below the display we have a capacitive button and that can probably be the fingerprint scanner. So this would be the first one from Moto to come with a fingerprint scanner embedded. Along with that we can also see a M logo at the top corner of the device and that means that Moto is putting their branded at the front side too now. But one bad news that we have right here is that if this is if this even turns out to be true is that the dual front firing speaker setup is kind of destroyed and we don't have it anymore. So yes, you would have to go with that side speakers or the back speakers, whatever they opt for, but not the front firing speakers, at least if this turns out to be true. More rumors suggest that the device would be having a 21 megapixel camera uh, at the rear of course and along with that it would be also having USB Type-C charging along with a very big battery and of course the fast charging integrated with the USB Type-C. Now talking about the most interesting news of this week, we have that the LER TV LER 2 has already leaked. So yes, here's the look at the device itself and as you can see, the device looks pretty slick and pretty aggressive at its look and that is because of the camera placement in this device. 
Instead of the side placement and the corner placement in this device, the company decided, according to this league at least, that the device uh, camera should be placed at the center and that too in a very bold and a very big sensor type and uh, yes that's according to me a very aggressive look giver to this device though this camera placement does remind me of another phone which is the HTC M9 and I think that again this looks pretty good and pretty uh, aggressive to its looks but again it kind of feels like it is copied from another device and that according to me isn't a great, great thing so I do actually like the camera placement on this device but not the fact that the camera uh, placement is copied from another device other than that most of the looks department of the device uh, according to me say, uh, remains exactly the same and as you can take a look at the front side of the device it exactly looks similar to the previous generation Love One S which actually launched here in India. But if you want to know more about the device and want to know more about the expectations and rumors and leaks about this device, you can just head over to my blog post which I posted just now. Uh, it includes everything about the Love 2 which we actually do right, out, right now. So yes, just go ahead and take, check that blog post out. The link would be in the description down below and yes, just go ahead and check that out. And here's the bonus news for today. The Redmi Note 3 has started receiving the MIUI 7 7.2.3.0 updates already and yes I just received it on my device and I'm right now upgrading it to that version and if you want if you guys want to see it I would be uploading a video regarding the, that update and it should definitely include that uh, device lock functionality with the fingerprint scanner and the shutter uh, photo capture with the fingerprint scanner features and I would surely demonstrate in the next video regarding this device. So yes guys, that's how we finally come to the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, do let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and also you can subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. You can also share this video if you want and yes, share it as much as you can. So yes, that's how we finally come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.